Hello and welcome to the Former Right YouTube channel. I'm David Johnson and today I'll be answering your questions. So stay tuned as we check it out. Today I'm here at the studio going through some of the questions sent in via the social media channels and if after watching this a question springs to mind, get it sent in and I'll look to answer it at a later episode. So the first question sent in is by Lena and it is, how long have you been an artist and how did you start? So Lena, I've, I've always had an interest for, uh, for art, creating art. Yeah, I, I would gain so much enjoyment trying out new methods and techniques, capturing uh, things that interest me. And uh, when I was, uh, well, when I left school as a student, I then returned as a member of staff. I was a, a teacher, um, a design and technology teacher, and uh, the art at the time was a, it was a part-time hobby. And my dad had said to me, I, I should try and produce prints of what I created. And this, this is something that favorite F1 artist Michael Turner um, has done and I wanted to in some way follow in his footsteps so I, I did and uh, I was amazed by the demand for my work. This led to uh, gaining the attention of Sir Sterling Moss. From there driver signed editions were available and it really uh, lit my fire to work hard and develop my skill and try and capture every detail with the fine art brushes um, and I wanted to capture the excitement uh, I felt from watching a race. During this time I'd worked with a growing number of F1 drivers and decided to make a jump from the brushes to the palette knife and through social media uh, this fresh style engaged many and led to my, my first live paint at the 2018 Grand Prix Ball and British Grand Prix. It was at this point I decided to become a full-time artist. The 14, 15 years teaching gave me so many great memories and my part-time hobby flourished into a full-time dream come true. This question from Jan is, what hooked you to motorsport art and do you paint just sport themes? So for that one, from a, a young age, I mean, I've always been fascinated with Formula One and watching it on telly, um, from there my dad, then took me to uh, the Friday practice of the 1997 British Grand Prix at Silverstone. And uh, I remember we got there a little bit late to, to the circuit. And as we, we parked up and uh, walked across the, uh, the car park, we could hear the loud roar of the V10 engines. And uh, as we got closer, I could see these huge cranes hanging over the grandstands, uh, peering at, at the racetrack. And then once we, we got trackside, um, I remember seeing the first F1 car driven at speed and it was just incredible. The driver's head juddering as uh, it changed gear and you could see the driver working the wheel as well. And I, I just remember at that point I, I was hooked. And for me, every time I capture a new painting of an F1 car, um, I'm brought back to that moment. These creations get me closer to the, the sport I, I love and allow me to be a part of it in a small way. Over the years, I've created paintings focusing on other areas of motorsport, from MotoGP to sports car. And aside from this, I, I do always like to take on the challenge of something new. The, the journey from completion of a, a theme from a different sector is uh, such a thrill. Being able to uh, capture that moment in time and using my style to encapsulate the, the passion is uh, very engaging and allowing me also to, to grow as a professional artist. One of my favourite non-motorsport artworks centres on the, the tour of Britain, the, the closing stages, and uh, the, the energy and excitement and movement within that scene, it, it's, it's one of my, my favourites. And this also later appeared on the cover of Bike Magazine. This question is from Eddie and it is, why did you change to the palette knife? Now, Eddie, at the start of my career, I used solely uh, fine art brushes, and this allowed me to, to uh, lay on canvas every detail. 
this has always been important to me is it, it builds an artwork's authenticity, building that moment in time. And uh, as my skills developed, this led to a, um, my paintings becoming more photo realistic. And for me, I was happy with what I had achieved, but I wanted a more creative freedom, allowing me to grow and nurture my style. So previously with Adobe Illustrator, and I did a few pieces and one in particular of Takuma Sato in the Super Aguri. Um, this was a fresh modern art piece and I, I left it there. And it was only some years later, I came across my, my A-level artwork and for that final piece, I actually used a palette knife and that was my Eureka moment. And from there, I went onto the palette knife and I created uh, my first piece, which was uh, celebrating Lewis Hamilton's 2017 F1 World Championship. And this journey was a joy and it, it seemed timeless uh, through to the completion. This question's from Ian and it is, if you could paint and then present your finished painting to any driver in the history of F1, who would it be? Now, this is quite a difficult one, Ian, I have to say. As, as a fan of the sport, I've made many great memories uh, from what I've seen on TV, uh, at the track, and, and what I've read about as well. And these have been influenced by the people I've met over the years, sharing their, their passion for, for motor racing. And uh, I mean, standout drivers include James Hunt, uh, Jim Clark, and, and Emerson Fittipaldi, and many, many more. But uh, my golden memories stem back to that 1997, when I first saw a car, F1 car at Silverstone. And, and that red car, um, was uh, was the Ferrari's F310 and that was driven by Michael Schumacher and later that day I even got a, a glimpse of uh, Schumacher when he spoke to the fans from the balcony of the Ferrari display at the circuit and these were magical memories that that will stay with me forever and it's always incredible and, and rare to think um, about the record books and seeing them broken and uh, in my F1 journey, the, the first person to do this was Michael Schumacher. And I, I feel very lucky to have seen this during uh, a time I was able to immerse myself in the sport, other than just watching it on TV, uh, feeling like I, I was a part of the celebration. And if I, I could present a painting to any F1 driver in history, it, it would be Michael Schumacher. 